Man's going to the Lord. Somebody put this right here for real. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's already put, it's already recorded. Yeah. Here you go, King. Come, let's get in there. Come. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and we dive right to the words of the Lord. Uh -huh. Right? Let me get the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 19. Let me get um, second Ezra. Come on, let me get second Ezra chapter seven verse six, and let me get um that's all that's all I want. It's a book of Luke. Let me get twenty one. It's nineteen, right? Oh, uh, come. It's a book of Luke chapter twenty one verse nineteen. Bring right? it out. And your patience possesses your soul. The Lord say. And your patience possesses your soul. soul. Right. So the Lord said, and your patience possesses your soul. Right. So this truth requires a lot of patience, man. Right. How can you endure through tribulation and trials if you don't have patience, man? Right. Oh, uh, read on, King. That's it or not? Come on, let me get that Romans 12. Yeah. Right, so look at Romans chapter 12, verse 12. No. Rejoicing in hope, patience and tribulation. Lord say, patience. rejoicing in hope, patience, patience and tribulation. Right, so the Lord said, uh, and hope and patience and tribulation, man. Our forefathers were being beaten, right, knowing in prison for this truth. How you doing, Elder? Hey, 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 you got bro. two minutes? No, no, no. Right, they were beaten for this truth, man, and they, they endured right through patience. If they didn't have patience, they would have just kind of made haste. They said, man, forget the Lord, man. Right, but they patiently endure. Right, we don't, King. Continuing in instant in prayer. Right, and continuing instant in prayer. Right, for the Teresa. Hey, King, you got two minutes, brother? I got a call for you. It's the book of Cyrus, chapter 2, verse 4. Bring right. out. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Right, so the first thing you got to be patient when you're changed to a low state, right? It says, For gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right, you can do the verse 12. Now, verse 12. It says, Woe be the fearful heart. The Lord say, Woe, woe be, be the, the fearful, fearful heart. Right, so the Lord said, Woe be the fearful hearts, right? And say, hands in the sinner that go two ways. Right, the sinner that go two ways, right? Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Right, let me get the book of Daniel, chapter 6 and verse um, 6 and verse 9. Right? Uh, uh, uh -huh. so seven, eight, 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 seven, six, uh, uh, I'm good. This is the eight, book of Second Edris, chapter seven, verse six. Right. You know, there is also Let another get, thing. Uh, Proverbs chapter four, verse twenty-five. A city is built. Let me get uh, Mark chapter nine, and verse twenty. It is full of all good things. What the Lord say? There is also another thing. Right. A city is built and set upon a broad field. Right. And it's full of all good things. Right. And this city that we're reading about is the kingdom of heaven. Right. And the Lord said the kingdom of heaven is full of all good things. Right. And it's set upon a broad field. Right. You know, King. Verse 7. The entrance thereof is narrow. The Lord say the, the entrance, entrance thereof, thereof is narrow. Is narrow. Oh, easy to get the, key. the entrance thereof is narrow. I thought it was a broad path. Bro. The entrance the thereof, thereof is narrow. narrow. The Lord said the entrance thereof is narrow. Hey, brother. brother. Hey, brother. You got yeah. two minutes, brother. Come on, come on, come on, G's. Okay. You always late. We don't care. All right. And we ain't begging nobody to get this work, man. Right? The Lord says the election have obtained it, but the rest is right. Right? And it's set in a dangerous place to fall. Right? And it's easy to fall in this thing, right? Right? Every time you step outside, it's a bunch of temptations. Right, a bunch of um women half naked with, with with bodies on them, right? Um, bunch of weed smoke in the air, right? All these big buildings and money everywhere, man. It's easy you can easily get enticed in this thing and fall out this thing, man. Every time you turn out you turn on your damn TV, it's a bunch of temptation, man. Right, we don't okay. care. Like as there were a fire on the right hand. Right, so when you um when you walking on this narrow path, just like you on a balance beam and it's a fire on the right hand side, and what up? And on the left, a deep water. Right, and on the left, a deep water. Right, so all it takes is one bad step, and now you're back in the real. All it takes is one bad step, and now you fall into destruction, man. Right? And only hey, one brother, can we hear the word, King? Two minutes, brother. Let me show you something in the Bible, brother. Good, King. You believe in the Bible? I'm crazy. You believe in Christ? I'm crazy. I'm going to show you something in the scripture. So, um, what we show in our people is that we're the, um, the true people of the Bible. You understand? You will be God's chosen people. You're an Israelite, brother. 
Right? What, uh, what's your father's nationality? What's your father's nationality? Black man, Puerto Rican man. Right, so you'll be an Israelite, brother. You'll be an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. Let me get the book of um, um, Judges, chapter 12, and verse 1. Right, I'm going to show you something out the Bible, brother. Right, let me get uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. So I'll get 28 and 15. Right? So I'm going to show you something real fast, King. Okay? Let me get that Judges first. This is the book of Judges, chapter 12. Verse 1, right? So you're a king walking this earth, brother. We're going to show you, right? Because I'm going to call How did you know how your people got to America? Right? We got here through, um, through slave ship. Just the same way the so called black man was um, in the cotton field, right? Y'all were in the sugar cane field, you understand? They did the same things to um, both of our people. We go through the same curses because we're the same people, you understand? Right? Bring it out, King. This is the book of Judges, chapter 12, verse 1. Right, bring so it out. The Bible, before they started to call you um, Puerto Rican, Right, you were known as a, a Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim, God's chosen people, you understand? Right, right they kind of grabbed you up, brought you here, and gave you a new name and said, now you're a Puerto Rican. That's not uh, really what the, the Most High God calls you. Right, read on. And the men of Ephraim gathered the them. Lord say, and, and the, the man, man of Ephraim. Ephraim. And the man of Ephraim. So we're reading about the tribe of Ephraim in the Bible, talking about the Puerto Rican, right? And the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together and went northward, right? And said unto Jephthah, Wherefore passest thou over to fight against the children right. of Ephraim? So the men of Ephraim went to their, their brother and they said, Man, what the hell going on, man? Why y'all going to fight without me? They were men of valor. They were fighting men of war, right? And did us not call us to go with thee? They're like, Man, y'all ain't call us to go to war with y'all? That's these we reading about the Puerto Ricans of the Bible, right? It says, we will burn thy house upon thee And he said, man, we're going to burn your house down, man, because y'all left us behind when y'all went to war. That's how that's how powerful um, our forefathers was, man, the, the tribe of Ephraim, right? The Puerto Rican. Right now, read this, case. And now we're going to show you how we know where the Israelites in the Bible. Slacky, that, slacky. That's that brotherly love, though, that we have amongst each other, though. You know what I mean? We lost that. Right, right, right. You know I mean? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring right? it out. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, so now you might be wondering, okay, if, I, if I'm an Israelite, why why did the, the Most High God allow them to bring us into slavery? Right, let me get Psalms of the 107 and verse 10, right? To observe and to do all his commandments. Right. And his statutes. Let me get uh, Job 36 and 11, King. This day. Right, so we got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? That all these curses. The Lord say that, that all, all these, these curses. curses. That's why we're a cursed people. Would you agree that we're a cursed people compared to all these different nations, brother? Right, we live in the hood, we live in the projects, we shoot each other, we rob each other. Right, it's because we're a cursed people, brother. Right? That all these curses shall come upon all thee and, and overtake thee. Right? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Like I was just going into, we're cursing the city. We live in the projects, we robbing each other, we killing each other, we selling drugs to our elders, you understand? Right. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Right, from the verse 68. Now I'm going to show you uh, slave ships in the Bible, right? Verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, talking about brother. slavery. Let me get Exodus 20 and 2. I know that too. Right, so when we read about Egypt, it says, the, you ever heard of Moses, brother? All right, God, we're going to show you. So when we read about Egypt in the Bible, it's talking about slavery, captivity, bondage, right? This is the book of Ex, uh, Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Bring right? it out. I am the Lord thy God, which right. has brought me out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. What is Egypt? Out, out, out of the house of bondage. Right, so Egypt is the house of bondage. Now read 28 and 68 again in Deuteronomy. Verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, and Egypt is the house of bondage, captivity, slavery. So the Lord says he's going to bring us into slavery again. Huh? With ships. With ships. Like, like we were talking about earlier. We're going to get into the ships, right? That's right yeah. off the Bible, brother. And the Lord was talking to the Israelites. That's how you would know you're an Israelite, because you fit the curses, right? By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right, so we never saw our homeland again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Right, we were sold unto our enemies. Who were we sold to when we got out those slave ships? What nation of people? The so-called white men. The, the Bible calls the so-called white men our enemies. Right, because they beat our forefathers in the back. They had them in sugar cane fields. They had them in uh, cotton fields. Huh? Brother, rocks. Doing rocks, right? Stoning us. Yeah, they were stoned, right? For bondmen and bond women, right? For slave men to slave women, and no man shall buy you, right? So now you got to understand, brother, you're you will be an Israelite, right? 
uh, calling you Puerto Rican would be a byword because that means you're just calling yourself what the so-called white man called you, right? But the, the Most High God called you an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim, right? And let me show you the importance of being an Israelite, right? Let me get Acts chapter 5 verse 29, right? Because you said you believe in Christ, right? Right, his real name in the Hebrew would be Yahweh Shai, right? Now, I'm going to show you something about Christ out of the Bible, right? But what you holding, King? chapter 5 verse 29 bring right? it out then peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey god rather than men right the god of our fathers raised up yahweh right or read it as this king Salakia. the god of our fathers raised up jesus whom he slew and hanged on a tree so now we're reading about christ you understand right we don't king him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior right for to get to give repentance you know what you know Israel. what you know what christ died on the cross for he put a sacrifice for our sins right because we, we were dead uh to sin like for example brother in the ancient days if you were to commit adultery like lay with another man's uh wife we would stone you to death you understand but now say you did that today now you can repent because christ died on that cross for you you understand right so read that again king you ain't got to start from 29. Uh, start from what say about your house. I got in the car. Uh, uh, dying for, uh, for the repentance of the sins. Okay, 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 I got you. Uh, for to give repentance to Israel right. and forgiveness of sins. Right, so that's why Christ, uh, Christ died, to give repentance to Israel. That's why it's important to understand that you're an Israelite because Christ didn't come for anybody else but the Israelites, brother, which would be today the blacks, Native Americans, and the Spanish, right? So you're an Israelite. You're God's chosen people. You're one of the people that God, I mean, Salaki, that Yahweh Shai, so-called Jesus Christ, that he died on that cross for. Right, so now you got to repent, brother, right? Because he died so that you can repent and get the kingdom of heaven. You understand? So let me get the book of um, Second Edges chapter six. Y'all can drop what I got. Let me get Second Edges sixteen and sixty-seven. Right. So now we're gonna show you how to repent. Right. It's the book of Second Edges chapter six. I mean chapter sixteen verse sixty-seven. Right. It says, "Behold, God Himself is the Judge. Right. Fear Him. Leave all from your sins. Right. So this is how you repent. You know what uh, sin is, brother? We're we gonna show you out the Bible. Oh, let's probably let me get that. Oh, get that right now. We're gonna show you what sin is straight out the Bible. So when somebody teach you about the Most High, they gotta read the Bible to you. Because for example, I can tell you that I can tell you the sky is red, right? I can tell you the Bible said the sky is red, but you can look up and see that it's blue, right? So that's why you gotta go into the scriptures and be able to um make these things make sense, right? Because look, somebody can tell you God loves everybody, but that's not in the Bible, man. Right? So you can't let people lie, so you gotta go into the scriptures, right? Just, just the book of first John. Point? I got a precept for the last one you guys said, so you know that's why it's important to know the truth. Bring it up. Right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. That's the spirit. Huh? That's the spirit. I wanted that. But he answered and said, I am not sent, uh -huh. but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, so like we told you, brother, you, you would be an Israelite. And, and Christ said he's not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So you gotta you gotta you gotta glory in that, you understand? You gotta love that you're an Israelite and you're the people of the book, right? Uh, verse 25. Then then came she and worship him saying, Lord, help that's all me. I wanted on that king. But, okay. Uh bring out uh what I just said. First John three and four. We're gonna show you what sin is of the Bible, King. This is the book of first John, chapter three, and verse four. Bring out. And it reads. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Right? For sin is the transgression of the law. Right, so sin is the transgression of the laws of God. So when you break the laws of God, you're in sin. You understand? For one example of the laws of God is that we can't eat pork, right? So now that you know these things, when you go and eat pork, you gotta understand you're in sin, brother. You understand? Right, so I'll continue on that second edge of 16. You can eat meat for sure. You can't eat, uh, we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you how to start out the Bible. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse 16, verse sixty-seven. Uh, bring it out. It says, "Behold, God Himself is the Judge. Fear Him. Leave all from your sins, and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them." Forever. Right. So this is how we we repent. We leave all from our sins. Like all these brothers you see up here, we used to uh, we used to eat um, we used to eat pork, right? But after we read the Bible and understood that was against the law, we stopped eating it. You understand? That's ultimate repentance. You understand? We don't, King. 
It says, so shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Right, and then when you when you um repent from your sins, brother, you turn away from your wicked ways, the most high God gonna lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Right, bring out what you got a piece of Oh, okay, you bring it out We're gonna show you that, uh, the, uh, this throughout the Bible, right? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it out. And the swine. And the what? In the, the swine. swine, right? Though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he is True. unclean. Right, you know what swine is, slocky, brother? Slocky. Yeah, he's chewing not the cud. You know what swine is, brother? It, it's pork. Right, so we read, uh, can you read that again? It's yeah, uh, Leviticus 11, verse 7. Right. And the swine, though he divided the hoof, right? And be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. <laughs> he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Right, so we can't eat pork, right? And their carcass shall ye not touch. You can't even touch a dead pig. They're unclean. Right, you, you know what? Um, if it was a hundred dead bodies out here and we brought out five pigs, hey, tomorrow, tomorrow damn night, they they eat all the dead bodies. Pigs eat anything. They're bottom feeders. Right, that's why we're not supposed to eat them. Right, let me get um, Cyrex to the 30 and verse 25. Right, we don't pig. They are saying? unclean to you. Right, so pig is unclean, right? I got a preset too after that. Come huh. 30 and 25. Let's see what that's going to do. Alright, we don't Verse 9. Ye oh, shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever yeah, yeah, yeah. has fins and scales. Right, it's so, the water. So out of the water, the only thing we can eat is things with fins and scales. Right? right. So you can eat fish. You can't eat uh, uh, damn lobster, damn alligator, turtle, octopus. You can't yeah. eat all these things. They got to have fins and scales, brother. You understand? Come in the seas and in the rivers, them shall you eat, right? And, and all that have not fins and scales in the sea and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any, li of any living thing, right? Which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. Right. So, uh, you, you can't eat pork, you can't eat uh, things out of the water without fins and scales, you understand? So you can't eat shrimp, you can't eat crab, you can't eat lobster. That's according to the laws of God. Catfish. That's not coming from me. Right, catfish, because they only have scales and not fins. Right, let me get Leviticus 26 and 46. Bring this out, king. This is book of and like I said, you're a king walking this earth as an Israelite man. You're an Israelite from the tribe of uh, uh, Ephraim. Right, they'll tell you you're a spick, a wet back, a, a nigga. Right, but you're a king walking this earth. You understand? All right. right, bring this out, king. This is, book, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 30 and verse 15. Bring right. it out! It says, health and good state of body are above all gold. Right, so health and good state of body are above all gold. And a strong body above infinite wealth. Right. There is no riches above a sound body. Right. And no joy above the heart. Well, you can bring out your precept. Dang, dang. I'm about to say my precept was over there because the fish. I thought you were going to bring out the swine. Oh, that is over. Hey, Spice. Come up. Let me get Job 37 and verse 11. Let me get uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 11. Which one? Oh, uh, yeah, that was when I went in. Leviticus 26 and 46. 46. Come. What the hell? You can bring that out. Come. Come. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 46. Bring it out. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel right. in Mount Sinai so, so. by the hand of Moses. Right, so these laws were only given to the children of Israel, brother. That's what you said, Right? Bring out your precept. Oh, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 11. Yeah, uh, he five, shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither yeah, lie yeah. one to another. Oh, you can bring out 36 and 11. Come on, so lucky, you can bring that out again, King. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 11. Right? He shall not steal. Right, so this is a law of the Bible. We can't steal. Right? Neither deal falsely. Right, we can't deal falsely with our brothers. Right, try to finesse our brothers. Right? Your brother kind of tell you, hey, I got a, I got um, somebody outside trying to buy my radio. The radio costs $60, right? But the brother, so the, the man that's buying it, he give you 70 for a tip. And you kind of keep the tip and don't tell your brother. You can't deal with us. You can't finesse your brother, right? Neither lie one to another. And we can't even lie one to another. That's the law of the Bible. I can't lie to you, brother. Right? And you can't lie to me, right? Because we brothers, right? That's all I want. Con. Yeah, this is the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. Right? It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right, and all these scriptures are written for our learning, brother. Right? We got what you got. 
This is the book of Job 26, verse 11. You got to talk to him. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. Right, so if we obey and, and, and serve the Most High God, we're going to spend our days in prosperity, right? And their years in pleasures. Right, and our years in pleasures, right? But if they obey not, Right? They shall perish by the sword. If we obey not, we're going to be put to death. The most like God is going to put us to death. You're not going to, uh, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You understand? That's what it's all about, getting to heaven, right? Right. And they shall die without knowledge. Right, we're going to die without knowledge. And that's why it's a beautiful thing that you up here listening to and obtaining this knowledge. Bring up the precept of God. All right. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 26. Right. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood. Right. Neither shall ye use enchantment. Right. So we can't eat things with blood in it. Right. You know how people get um, medium rare steak or rare steak and it's still red meat and blood. You can't eat that, man. It got to be well done. Right. Nor observe time. And we can't use enchantments and observe times like astrology and all these different, um, um, horoscopes. yeah, horoscopes and things like that. Can't deal with that. Verse 27. Right? You shall not round the corners of your head. Right? Neither shall you bar the corners of thy beard. Right, so you can't you can't cut your head bald, right? You can't go completely bald. Right? You can kind of shave your head down, but you can't use a razor and kind of go completely Michael Jordan bald, right? And you can't uh cut off your beard. So it's a good thing you're growing your beard, you can't cut that thing off, man. Right? You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Right? Nor put any marks upon you. Right, you I can't, am the Lord. You can't even get tattoos. Right? You can't get no tattoos. Right? Bring up, bring up second edge. If you have some, you gotta repent for it. Right. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come. That they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. Right, and in these last days, brother, this is why it's important to get your spirit right. Right? Read that again. Listen to this, King. Says, Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come. Right? That they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. In these last days, a lot of people is going to die, man. Right? You, you ever heard about the war that's going on in Ukraine with Russia? Right, and that's going to come to America one day. Right, that's why the Lord set up brothers to come out here and prophesy and let our people know what's coming to the earth. Right, because in these last days, a lot of people won't die, man. Right, we got to get right with the Lord. Right? And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Right, and in that day, you ain't going to see brothers out here no more. The way of truth going to be hid. Right, and it's going to be, the land going to be barren with faith. I mean, barren of faith. Right, a lot of people going to lack faith in these last days. Right, let me get the book of Isaiah 24 and verse 1. Right, uh, I got a precept, uh, Come, bring it up. Right. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Right. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders of ribbon of blue. Right. So these are fringes that we have. And that's a law. This, look, look, brother. These are fringes that you see in all of our garments. That's a law in the Bible as well. Right. So these just the the Bible. Right. But, um, uh, Isaiah 24, 1, you got that key? Oh, come on, bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 1. Bring right? it up! It says, Behold, the Lord... Bring it, uh, Isaiah 13 and um, 9. 19. 13 and 19? Come on. Behold, Behold the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. Right, so the earth, the Lord gonna make the earth waste, meaning a lot of people is gonna die. We read about this throughout the Bible. Right, the Bible is not all hugs and kisses. There's a lot of prophecy in the Bible that, that tell you what's gonna happen in the last days, right? And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, right? As with the servant, so with his master. Right, so basically the Lord saying everybody gonna get it. A lot of people gonna get put to death. The um the damn priest, the servant, the master, that's all he's going into in this account. He's saying a lot of people gonna die, right? It says as with the mistress, I mean as with the maid, so are with the mistress. As with the buyer, so with the seller, right? As with the lender, so with the borrower. As with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Right, look at verse 6. Uh, it says, Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, right? And they that dwell therein are desolate, right? Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. You ever heard about, in the Bible where they tell you that, um, the, in the, um, at first the road was destroyed with the flood, but in these last days it's going to be destroyed with fire? Yeah, that's in the Bible, man. In these last days, this world is going to be destroyed with nuclear fire, man. Right? Uh, bring on the uh, You go hold that. And I got a precept. Uh, uh, it's the uh, book of Isaiah, uh, Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 12. Right? And this shall be the plague 
where the Lord will smite all the people that have for, that have fought against Jerusalem. Right. Their flesh shall consume away right. while they stand upon so their feet. This is what this is what um, happens when nuclear fire hits a man or, or, or whoever it may be. Right? Your flesh is gonna consume away while you're standing upon your feet. Have you right? ever seen Terminator 2? Yeah, you ever seen that? Watch yeah. Watch Terminator 2. Yeah. Watch it's, it's the little white girl, she's hanging on the fence. Right, right, right. Nuclear blast hits her. This is what it's, this is what he's talking about right here. Right, right. Uh, it says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Hey, sister. You believe in the Bible, sister? Right, so, hey, that's what's gonna happen when nuclear destruction comes to this earth. That's why we need you to repent, brother, because we don't want to see you be destroyed. You understand? That's what that's what it's all about, right? You guys are peace Yeah, this, uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 5. Right. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Right. Nor for the arrow that fly by day. Right. Nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Right, so when you come back to the Most High God, you're not going to be afraid of these things, man. Right? That's why it's important to repent and turn back to the Lord and start to keep the law, statutes, and commandments and have faith in His Son for the world will ignorantly call Jesus Christ, but we know Him as Yahweh Shah. That's the most important thing you can have is faith in Christ. You understand? Right. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. Right. So. You want bubbles? You're not going bubbles. Right, so the Lord said a thousand shall fall at your right hand, right? But the Lord gonna protect you because it's his elect in that day, you understand? You might see a lot of people dying by you, you just kind of still standing there, ain't nothing touch you, because that's how the Lord get down, right? But it shall not come nigh thee. It's not gonna come nigh thee, right? Let's say no. Tom, look at what you got, Tom. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, right? It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, right? And with earthquake. And with a great noise, right? And storm and tempest and the flame of devouring they fire. Then your six and nine, King. Yeah, so this, hey, the Lord gonna visit this earth with fire, man. Right? Let me get uh Matthew 24, verse 7. So this this is the Bible tells you about future prophecy, things that's gonna come to pass, right? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, right? It says, For nation 